Get ready, America, for this is the best of Destination Small Town, a Quack TV production featuring the shows that have taken Sweet Swine County by storm. The reality hit, The Real Housewives of Sweet Swine County, Sweet Swine's favorite music show, Backstage at the Commune, the tastefully done cooking segment, Cooking It Up with Betty, the always zany soap opera, As the Corn Grows, and of course, the wildly popular talk shows that share what's happening inside and outside Sweet Swine County. Which shows will you be seeing today? Stay tuned and find out right after the break. This program has been made possible by the Swine Song Commune, where musicians, artists, and hippie types live together and share their passions. To learn more, visit the online magazine at sweetswinescoop.com. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publication, the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books, now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tail Publications is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of My Slow Descent from Hollywood to KLUK TV by Sergio Ferleone. Born in Italy, he immigrated to the United States early in his career. With over a dozen films to his credit, Hollywood readily embraced his directional style. Within a year, he was working on a monumental project with some of the top talent in the business. With two Oscars for direction under his belt and more than a few starlets on his arm, he experienced an unparalleled degree of success. After his second marriage to the darling of the silver screen ended, he found himself searching for the meaning in life. Then, after a series of unfulfilling love affairs, he met and married the love of his life, only to have happiness slip through his fingers when his wife was forced to enter the witness protection program during their honeymoon in Paris. It was this event that would change his career and his life path forever. Leaving the bright lights of Hollywood behind him, he found himself moving to Sweet Swine County to work as the creative director for a small market station, KLUK TV. Each of these towns are being considered for a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready, because just when you thought you'd gotten the cockleburs out of your overalls, they're now on TV. That's right, this is one weed you won't want to pull. The Cockleburr Morning Show, with hosts who deliver a mix of news, entertainment, and information about the communities throughout our story country. Now on this station and the web. Get ready, America, because you're about to see the best of the women of Sweet Swine County. Sweet Swine County's number one daytime show. everyone and welcome to the women of Sweet Swine County where we share small town stories with big town attitude and you're not going to believe it today viewing audience Nicole is back Paris isn't here what's up with that I Hi. how have you been I've did been you good. miss me yes I you know, missed you so much my fans wrote me and they told me that the show is not the same without me they're like oh it's really not that good you need to get back so I decided to come back. Well, good. So since you decided to come back, what happened to Paris? Okay, so I have to tell you it's this. It's a long story, I bet. Our boss, what's his name? Cousin John. Okay, so this guy sends me a letter and he says, you know, I have a job for you. And I said, okay, I'll do it, not a problem. He says, I want you to travel outside Sweet Swine County. I want you to find guests for the show, that sort of thing. He decided I would be the one to do it because you, you know, you're not 
prepared for that kind of thing. What do you mean prepared for that kind of thing? It should be easy to find a guest, isn't it? Sweetheart, see, that's the problem. You do not quite understand it. But anyhow, so I went outside with Swain County and I found all this amazing stuff. I bought so much, so many things. So Perry, uh, Perry's got jealous. She's like, I would like really? to have some of that too. And I felt so sorry for her. Have you ever seen her closet? She has nothing. So I said, fine, I'll do it. This time, I'll take your place and you can go shopping. You yes. mean to tell me that while I'm here holding down the show, you're out just shopping away? I am working. Really? I'm actually working. I, you know, I have to try the products, see if they work, see if the people are worth bringing them to the show. What if they're not? What if we end up inviting some nobody? Well, hey, Nicole, what do you say we introduced yes. one of these guests that you've booked? Oh, you're going to love them. Am I going to love them? You know, oh, I'm yes. kind of surprised because according to my notes here, they say they're right here from Sweet Swine County. I thought you were outside Sweet Swine County looking for fabulous guests. Um, but I'm sure they're fabulous. I have no doubt that they're not fabulous. I, I think so. You know, um, I have these assistants. You, you wouldn't know what those are, but... Is these people that do your work, so mm -hmm. you don't have to do it mm -hmm. all? Mm -hmm. And they found them, and they said they were fabulous. Okay, so well, let's why introduce we some. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, right here from Sweet Swine County and from the township of Skagenbeck, I think. Welcome the Lufsa ladies. <laughs> Ladies, and these are the gals you booked. Hi there. Hi. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, yes, I did book them. Um, I've never seen them before, though. But but they're right here from Sweet Swine County. I hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, and, it, and, it, and it's Skogenbeck Township. Oh, not Skagenbeck. No, no. Skogenbeck. Oh, Skogenbeck. Oh, Skogenbeck. It's Perry Ann. It's Perry Ann. She's. You know, we're, she'll, we're, she'll catch up. We're way up oh, north. Oh, no, she won't. Oh, we're way up north. north. So, you know, I we don't expect like, you to know everybody. Like the northeast corner of Sweet Swine? Is that where you're located? Northeast. Yeah. Northeast. Oh, okay. sweetheart, you don't even know what a map is. Who oh, are you gosh. talking about? Oh, she just hears these words and you she repeats these them. Women? You're talking she about She wants to pretend she knows what she's talking about. Oh, Anyhow, they're not very nice. Okay, so why don't you tell us, because I know what. Lefsa is, but I'm sure oh, yes, Nicole yes. does not know what Lefsa is. So can you tell our audience and Nicole what Lefsa really is? Oh, well, here you go. Oh, you have you know lots what, of you know what it is? It's it's Norwegian, okay. and it's like a flatbread, and it's made of potatoes mm, and it looks butter. Very oh, oh, is it good for the diet? Like oh, you know, if you're on a diet, it's good. good. Mm. Yes, very oh, good. It More butter, the better. Wonderful. More butter. Mm. Huh. We've wow. been rolling now for a long time. You've been rolling, years, huh? Years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Since our kids were little. 20, yeah. 30, yeah. maybe yeah. years. So, um, yeah. did you bring any more lapsa than oh, this? We got more lapsa. Yeah. It's frozen. We always have more, but we keep it frozen. You keep it frozen, huh? Mm -hmm. And so, what do you do with it when it's frozen? Well, you got to thaw it out. Not throw it out. Thaw it out. Thaw it out. Oh, so, okay. you just leave it out there and it's good to eat. Lots of butter, yeah. <gasps> sugar. Kind of like a tortilla. Yeah. Oh, Only so better. And you roll it up. No, mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I heard? What I that? heard from Nosy Norma, a very reliable source, that the Lefsa ladies are in negotiations with Cousin John well, for yes, their own reality show. So How could I you have done this? Negotiations. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. We never we have left to book no. an act, oh, honey, and now they're in negotiations worry. for I their mean, own reality show. Look at them. I'm so excited. Yeah. So excited. Don't worry. How Look did, at them. How did this happen? Who's going to watch these people? Can you tell I mean, us how it happened? Oh, oh, how they're not going to watch us. It wasn't it at the, the Lapsa sweets? people? It was really? at the sweet. Do you oh, want to hear a 
of the story? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, you yes. be quiet now. Be you be quiet now. Oh, my goodness. So okay. it was at the yes. Sweet Swine County yes. yeah, oh, yeah. last that summer. Right. And that what was his name? That cousin John. So, John. 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 Yes. Cousin John. Cousin he John, said yeah. he thought he'd like to have us have a show. So you were <laughs> so excited. We yeah. said, yeah, we can do that. You yeah. really yeah. talked talk to Cousin John. He really had you in his office at the Sweet Swine County. Has he seen you in person? Because, oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, really. and he still wants to do a show with you. Oh, he right. loves us. Right. Oh, I think so. Uh, he, but there's he, a... he have his glasses on when he saw you guys. Well, yeah. Because yeah. he has yeah. some eyesight problems, so he may have not noticed a few things. But he's got very good taste. Yeah. Because we've been sending him laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Lots of it. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the best. The show? I think it was my recipe, wasn't it? No, I'm pretty sure it was mine. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. No. I yeah, I'm the Lessa Queen. Oh yes. Yeah. See, oh, oh. this is our traveling trophy yeah. right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, she has this. So, is your show she going to be to, all about Lessa? Because mm -hmm. honestly, yeah. people are going to get tired of it. I mean, oh. it's just some kind of flat thingy made of potato. Oh. I mean, come on. Brown no. sugar. Yeah, and or cinnamon. white. Or but. Now, cousin John, he likes. I the, say the, they'll have a the show. brown sugar. They have yeah. 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 Be over. And cinnamon. Cousin like John cinnamon likes that. Yeah. <laughs> He's got that belly. Yeah. I think yeah. it's from the last. I think so. <laughs> For all those months. Oh. So, just how many months were you sending him or bribing <laughs> cousin John with the left stuff? <laughs> One, seven. I think seven. Seven, seven weeks seven. of lefsa? No, no, months. no, no. Months. Seven months. And then he decided to call you? Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah. Then that was that. Then. I think he was pretty sure at that point. He was. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Uh, pretty so sure just, that we were yeah. when, when good the, cooks. When he, knew, the, he knew we were good for what we said we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so when did when does he schedule this show to start, this reality oh. show? Oh, I think it's soon. Soon? I think we've soon? got some. Before sitting in Maya, I hope. Oh, oh yeah. So, so is oh, he going yeah. to be like the Lev's the ladies show? There's a very good name, and Cousin John helped us come up with this, and you know mm -hmm. that there are a lot of housewives in Sweet Swine County, and we are real housewives, yeah. and real. so... And you have names. Uh, we have names. names. Oh, yeah. We do. Jo yeah. Have Joanna? Names. Joanna? Joanna? Oh, and Helga. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. Sorry. That we didn't... actually have okay. another member, too. Marta. Okay. She'll Marta. Be, yeah. She'll be joining us too, yeah. Marta. So you will yeah. be the Housewives so, of Sweet Swine County? No, 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 almost. The real. The real Housewives of uh, Sweet Swine, Swine County. County. It kind of makes sense. With real problems uh, and real life we, stories. And do you have, have real have problems? problems. I you have, have to, a lot of problems. Are you, it's a are you going to do something about your clothes and uh, your hair? No, no, no. Uh, in the makeup? No, no. We in, don't oh. like the way we look. No. Oh, Do you think we could use some help? Oh, yes. Really? Oh, really. Do you, do, you, do you talk to all your guests like this? Then? Oh, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Because if they need help, I am there willing to help well, all the time. Well, we're going to remember, remember that. Maybe we could have this a little help. Well, oh, see, you. she's gonna be my best friend. Mm -hmm. You guys, oh, not so much. Yeah. Not everybody in oh. Sweet Swine County can relate to you, you know, because you're kind of, kind of what? Highfalutin. Uh, yeah, I think that's what High you said. Highfalutin. That'd be it. High yeah. Highfalutin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. When are you going to start shooting? Well, what? we did already. Yeah. We shot the pilot. The pilot. And where? Where? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a great oh, we got you. photos we can show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got photos and he's, we're still Excuse working on it. Me. What was that lady's name of that Who kitchen? Who were you working used? with? Betty. 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 Betty's kitchen? Do you know Betty's kitchen? Yeah. yeah. Who did who who did you do this with? Oh, cousin John. As in our boss, cousin, cousin John. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cousin John, he said he said we'd have to use Betty's kitchen though mm -hmm. for now. For now. For now. What do you mean for now? Well he's building us a kitchen. No way. It's not the same cousin John oh, that we You should know. see it. John. Yeah, it's in John. Yeah. Is that stainless steel? Yeah. Pretty sweet. Stainless steel appliances, <laughs> a little... Uh, a little granite? Granite? Yes. Yeah. It's so yeah. sweet. That's a good so, deal. Yeah. So, yeah. this real so, show, what oh. kind of things are the people going to see besides lapsa? I mean, yeah. you cannot make a whole show about the potato thing. But we have lives. You know, there's a lot of stuff that what, happens way up there. potatoes? Skogenbeck Township potatoes? has a lot of interesting yeah, people. Yeah, you, you peel yes. potatoes we and you have pick north potatoes. There. We got oh, lots of drama. Oh, drama. Do you want to learn drama? Drama, really drama. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Like in, oh, I cannot find my potato peeler drama thing. You know, know, that can be a real crisis then. You know, if you can't find your potato peeler, that's big serious. trouble. Yeah. Big and trouble. then you know that's what? Serious. If you can't find your potato peeler, what do you do? You, I oh. call the maid. That's what I do. I call my maid all the time. And she has does an amazing a job maid? at finding it. So oh, yes. I think that's why nobody can relate to what they're no, going no. through. There's no maids up no there. Maids. No. So your housewife show, um, are your husbands going to be in this show too? There's some things that we probably should keep private from them. You know, yeah. they so, should know everything no. that um, we do. How can we know right. that actual real housewives? How, mm -hmm. I mean, how can we? Yeah, that's we a have lots question. of stories. Are you real housewives? Oh. I mean, who is it? Oh, it's Marta. And Marta is... Who? Well, she's the other oh left side. Oh my goodness, yes. another potato lady. Oh, yes. No. Oh, you know what? I've had enough. I'm, really I'm so. We are not the aprons and the hair. No, I've had enough. I'm done. Nicole, no, I am done. Please, I'm Nicole, done. don't leave me alone. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> She walked yes. up, but it's nice to it's have. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're um, just so happy. Marta. Marta. Mm -hmm. And yes. And Edna. Edna. Johanna. Yeah. And Helga. And Helga. Yeah. And we are the, the real housewives, housewives of Sweet Swine, Swine, Swine County. County. And Cousin John really did book you. Oh, oh. kind of. Well, kind of. <laughs> you have that to look forward to. I am. Yeah, yeah. we're excited. Yeah. I, so I nice. sure hope Nicole's okay. Okay, ladies, would story. you like to help me wrap up the show? Sure. Oh, sure. Right. Hey, everybody, yeah. look at the camera. Okay. Well, everybody, that was an exciting show today. And remember, we share small town stories with Big Town Attitude, for we are the women of Sweet Swine County. Bye-bye for now. Who are these people and what are they doing? Well, they're talk show hosts, tourists, celebrities, and reporters from your neighboring county of Sweet Swine. Yes, I said Sweet Swine County, and they're sharing what they've learned about the businesses and points of interest in the small towns of the Midwest. Learn all that they learned on DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready for a website like no other, a website where you will find stories done by reporters, tourists, and celebrities from Sweet Swine County. Yes, I said Sweet Swine County. With nothing happening in their county, they decided to do some stories about the businesses and points of interest located in their neighboring towns and counties. Take a unique look at life inside the small towns of the Midwest by visiting DestinationSmallTown.com. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publication, the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books. Now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tail Publications is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of It's You, Not Me, A Guide to Breaking Up by Paris Ritchie. Born to wealth, Paris Ritchie is one of the most photographed women in the world. Women want to be her, and men fall at her feet. Although her love life is well documented in the tabloids, don't believe everything you read. Paris has had to kick more than a few lovers to the curb for what she calls shenanigans unbecoming of a Paris man. She's just a woman who knows exactly what she wants in a man and what she brings to any relationship. So if an affair ends, it's you, not her. Each of these towns are being considered for a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready because now you can watch the zany soap opera that tells the story of the citizens of Sweet Swine County who live and love as the corn grows. The show gives viewers a tongue-in-cheek look at life inside Sweet Swine County with a lovable cast of characters who bring new meaning to the word corny. Now on this station, and 
the World Wide Web. This program has been made possible by SweetSwineScoop.com, the online magazine that keeps Sweet Swine County citizens informed on what's happening. For if it happens in Sweet Swine County, it's news to us. Our Story Productions presents Cooking It Up With Betty, a saucy look at our story. So, get ready for the one and only Betty Thompson! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cooking It Up With Betty. And what a show we have planned for you today. I have a special guest. We will be making a special dish together. And we will have reports from the roving reporters out in the field of our story country looking for interesting places to visit. Without further ado, let me introduce my very special guest today, a bird lover extraordinaire, Ellen Seesmore. Welcome, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I saw Colonel Bruce right outside the studio window. So cute. Oh. Thank you so much for having me. You know, when the producers first called, I, I have to admit, I didn't know a lot about the show. So I asked them to tell me about it and tell me about you. And they told me you were also a bird lover. Oh, yes, indeed. I am a, I'm an avid bird lover. Oh, wonderful. Gosh. And, and there's so many beautiful birds to choose from. I'm, so what kind of birds do you like? I love them all. I love them all. I tell you, beautiful blue jays, songbirds, oh, I just can't get enough of them. I love watching birds. <laughs> you watch them? Yeah. Just, yeah. just watch them? Well, I take pictures. <laughs> I've written some books. Inter I, interesting. Yeah. Yes, interesting. Well, enough about me. This is your show. What kind of birds do you love? <laughs> oh, well, yes. I, I, I like birds, too. I like chicken and duck and turkey and goose. Oh, good choice. And Partridge and pheasant. <laughs> oh, I see Lewis is motioning for us to get started. You know, I, I always put a little wine. It kind of relaxes my guests. So sure. here, this is from a new winery over in Cornstalk. Oh. I wonder, do you suppose we could find any birds over at Cornstalk? Oh, you can find birds just about anywhere. I'd love for you to come watch birds with me. Watch, okay, yes. Mm. <laughs> well, you may not know this, but I have uh, reporters out in the field that visit, you know, in our story country, and they find interesting places to yeah. visit, and then they report back to us. Would you like to watch one of those reports with me? That sounds Let's great. Let's go do that while yeah. we're tasting our wine. Perfect. Oh, Abby Appetite here, head reporter for the What's Cooking team making a list for my reporters to do stories on about the restaurants, cafes, diners, supper clubs, and bakeries in the small towns of the Midwest. You can see them all on clucktv.com. Hey, let's pick one out and go there together. Remember, you'll be traveling with an appetite. Abby Appetite. Lenny Leftover here, filing my latest report of what's cooking. I and my fellow reporters have discovered incredible nightclubs and historic bars in small towns. Now you can learn what we've learned about nightlife options in small towns of the Midwest on clucktv.com. Wow, those pieces look great. You're making me kind of hungry. This is a cooking show. Are we going to cook something? Oh, yes, indeed. It is a cooking show, and we will be cooking in honor of your visit. Great. Today, we're going to be making cornbread stuffed birds. Cornish game hens. Little birds. Yes, little birds. Little birds. Oh, with yes. corn. Corn's good. Well, the, well I'm, I'm doing, working on a new cookbook. It's called Cooking. Betty Cooks Up All Things Corn. And the stuffing has cornmeal in it. Oh. And so they're cornmeal stuffed game hens. But these birds are for eating, not for, for watching. watching. Yeah, not well, for watching. I say, what so, are you doing a whole lot right now? Yeah. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I, I made the stuffing, um, melted some butter, and I put the onions it's and the chopped right apples. There, huh? yeah, I'm putting it right in the cavity. And then after I melted the butter, I put the onions and the um, apple in there. Then I added some spices and the secret seasoning ingredients. And then cups of, a couple cups of cornbread, mm -hmm. herbs and my special seasonings in there. And then moisten it up with some chicken broth. And now we're ready to truss it. Truss. A truss. Well, Thanks. this is a special way to okay, hold. kind of check this out. Yes, you can check that out, see? So I just put the stuffing right inside there. Okay, now to truss the, the chicken, what you want to do is you want to close that up so that the stuffing doesn't fall out. And so you can take the tail, okay. tuck it up in there, and with a toothpick, you come through oh. here, 
and you just poke it through and over to the side. Now you've got oh, the ends clean. of your toothpick out yeah, here. Where you, okay. okay. And then you're going to take a piece of string and you're going to loop it down underneath the edge of that toothpick, up and around the legs and pull it tightly together and that will keep the stuffing in. Okay. Yes, the little legs all together, trussed up here, ready to be put in the oven. See that? How you put it tight and then put a nice little bow on here. Very creative. Yes, indeed. The little chicken's got to be pretty. <laughs> okay. And then I just trimmed the extra little string off so we okay. won't have that sitting around the oven. Now I'm going to go ahead and stuff the other one. Would you like to go ahead and base this with the, this is a butter, melted butter with the secret ingredients all mixed in there. And you just spread that butter all over the top of the chicken. You just... Yes, the little baby chicken there. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, I'm cooking it up with Betty. Basting the bird. Yes, just put that right on there. Yeah. Lots of butter on there. That keeps it nice and moist in the oven. Does it, it smells really good. This butter smells delicious. Well, good. The That's the secret ingredient in there, you know, that makes it smell so good. It gives that nice little golden touch. Mm -hmm. When you said something about like a secret spice packet, what's in that? Is that well, anything? it's a secret. Like that, that's, that's a secret. That's why it's called a secret spice. <laughs> well, we finish up here. Let's go to another report from our What's Cooking Report. Lola left over here, filing my latest report of What's Cooking. I and my fellow reporters have discovered incredible main courses, entrees, appetizers and daily specials in small towns of the Midwest. Now you can learn what we've learned on ClockTV.com. I found them so delicious, I was the only leftover. Lola leftover. Lenny leftover here, just returned from the road. I and my fellow What's Cooking reporters have discovered incredible restaurants, cafes, diners, supper clubs, and bakeries in small towns. Now you can learn what we've learned on clucktv.com. I found them so incredible, the only leftover was I, Lenny Leftover. Well, we're back, and this is the finished product. If you at home would like a copy of the recipe, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Cooking It Up With Betty, Make sure that you include $2, and the recipe is called Cornish Game Hens with Cornbread Stuffing, and you'll get a secret <laughs> uh, packet of the secret seasonings along with that. Or you can go online and get, it, uh, get the recipe online and order the secret seasonings separately there. You know, I really, I didn't think you were going to cook them, but they smell really good. Well, I'm so glad, you. and you know, um, I'm so glad you were here, and you know, I have Thank lots you. of other recipes. We could do some other recipes cooking birds. You know, I would love to, but I think I hear my ride. So oh, 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 just oh. bye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, you, you forgot your binoculars. You can mail them to me. <laughs> well, goodbye, Ellen. Um, thanks to my special guest. Uh, thanks to my roving reporters. And thanks to you, my home viewing audience. Come back next time for another exciting episode of Cooking It Up with Betty. <laughs>The lifestyles led in the small towns and counties of the Midwest are like no other, but we seldom hear about the points of interest and businesses located in these towns. While there's one TV station that's made it their mission to make sure the stories of the small towns of the Midwest are told, Cluck TV. That's right, Cluck TV, located in the neighboring county of Sweet Swine. See all the towns that are covered on KLUKTV.com. A KLUK TV production starring Abby Appetite, Lenny, and Lola Leftover. Their destination, outside Sweet Swine County. Their purpose, to share their discoveries of the best cafes, restaurants, bakeries, supper clubs, and night spots. It all began when they realized food options in Sweet Swine County were limited. Now you can learn what they learned with hundreds of food options. What's cooking in living color on the web?
This program has been made possible by Purdue University, Sweet Swine County's Institute of Higher Learning, with three classroom trailers that can accommodate up to nine students each. To learn more, visit sweetswinescoop.com.